YouTube, what's up? Check it out. So today we're going to be doing an install of a Tomei oil filter block adapter uh, with the Circuit Sport relocation kit, okay? So um, should be kind of straightforward, man, but we'll see because I've already tried hooking this shit up without spending much money and it didn't work. So anyway, I ordered the parts up. We got should have everything. Let's get straight to it. I ended up trying to be cheap, piecing together parts from the homie. Bought some $50 uh, Dash 10 little kit off eBay or Amazon, some shit. And I just tried to piece it together and it's not gonna work. So what I have to do, I had to order this whole Circus Sports oil relocation kit on top of the Tomei block adapter. So that's what we're gonna be putting in today. All right, guys. I think we're ready to get this thing in. already lined up so it should be a little easier. That was about a bitch. Uh where's my light? It's way up here. Okay. Got it in there. As you can see I don't know if you can see. I think you can see. Hope you can see. Okay. You got the oil pressure sensor switch in there. Uh, got the two lines. I had to put those on the uh, Tomei block before I <clears throat> put it onto the engine block because it's just too damn tight in there to get any wrenches to tighten those uh, hoses up onto the and fittings. So anyway, that literally took me probably like an hour. I don't know. You guys ever had the issue where something super simple just takes you forever and you just get hella pissed? So that's what's going on. So anyway, uh got this plumbed up here and with the length of these hoses, it's not really letting me, you know, because I gotta mount it somewhere. It's not really going anything anywhere natural. So two options. I can, no, I'm not doing that. I was going to say I was going to take it off and cut these hoses to whatever length I want. But that would require me taking off the the whole thing from the block again. And I'm not doing that. Okay, so my only other option is I can't like manipulate this anyway without making it, you know, unnatural bends and, and that. And we don't want to do that. Oil starvation, big problem. So got some steel here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this, these two bolt holes right here. And this, I don't know. I don't know what these two bolt holes were for. Maybe it was for the power steering reservoir because it used to be on this side. But anyway, I'm going to build a little bracket off of here. Excuse all this wiring. I don't know what to do with it yet. But build a little bracket so then hopefully this thing can sit just like this. You know I mean?
All right, guys. So check this fucking shit out. Straight wild ass, uh, big old ugly bracket. But I mean, shit. It looks like it's gonna work. Tighten that down real quick. that down still got room to get the filter out my extendo cool all right so now I'm about to break it back down put some paint on it That bad boy all dry. We need some baling wire. Where can we hang this thing to paint it? Right somewhere. Right here. Two o'clock. Gotta get going soon, damn it. Damn. And then it clogs. Great. Come on. I know I'm like overdoing it on the paint right now for the first coat, but. The way this paint is spraying, I might only get one coat. This thing is not cooperating. It don't have to be perfect. Cause honestly, I'm probably never gonna run that shit. Like right now I'll run it, but really don't like how it turned out it's just too big and bulky so check it out shit I don't know if you can see anyway this is the final product man got some cool little uh uh what you call it bolts on there yeah I was talking shit about it earlier but I kind of like it man it came out pretty pretty cool it's like super easy access bam bam right there all right so let me just, uh, I just want to break it down for you because when I was looking on YouTube and starting to search this shit up, it wasn't exactly clear, right? And uh, what I mean is, is the installation of uh, the lines or the, the routing, I should say. Yeah, the routing. So, I mean, it's pretty damn important, right? It's your oil lines. You can't have the end going to the out, out going to the end. So, I'll, um, I googled, 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 and uh, found this picture insert this here of the Tomei deal and <clears throat> so I even double checked I went online I asked a couple people on the for uh, forums but the fucking uh you know Facebook group and shit so they confirmed it with me so I'm gonna just run it through so you can understand it okay so let's get under here so I can't see if you can see let me grab my phone okay so the Tomei oil block Adapter has the two dash 10 fittings coming out. The one on the right is the one that supplies pressure. So the oil comes out of the block on the right. Okay, follow me. 
So the line on the right comes out and it goes in to the adapter, okay? Follow me? So Tomei oil block on the right goes up to your oil filter adapter to the in. So then it comes into your oil filter, goes through the filter and comes out the center and comes out here through the out. And then back down to the left side of the Tomei uh, block adapter on the left. So that's pretty damn important. Uh, like I was saying, because it's, you know, it's your oil delivery. So I couldn't figure it out. Um, I was watching hella people's YouTube videos and everyone's like, oh yeah, you just put it on, put four bolts, put the gaskets, blah, blah, blah. But no one fucking went over that. And me, I would have thought it would have went the other way. Just looking at it because on the block adapter, the left side is higher. So I'm thinking for whatever reason, that's the feed and it's not like that. That's the return. Okay. So, uh, definitely want to get that straight. Um, anyway, man, just a little update on the rest of the, the progress. The um, wiring specialties harness is coming. Uh, it's already shipped out, so it should be here any any day now. I'm super juiced about that. You guys seen this before? I got like a shitload of wiring. This is all from the, the KA harness, but it's like integrated. I don't know. I gotta figure out what I do or don't need. That's gonna be a pain in my ass. But I'm pretty confident that I can figure out the wiring specialties harness because they make it so simple, right? I just need like a few wires to make it run. So I just gotta figure out what to do with the rest of this shit. <laughs> Enough about that. Only things I have left to do on this is some vacuum lines. I gotta, I gotta plug this into this intake somehow. I don't know, get a little thing welded on there. I need a throttle cable. So the hard body one's too short. I have the 240 here. So I'm thinking about grabbing the, cause I pulled the engine out of that. I'll get to that in a minute. Pull that one out, see if it's long enough. Uh, and if it is, I'll just buy another one to replace the 240 when I'm ready. So, throttle cable, vacuum lines, um, uh, yeah, so like all these ports on the throttle, baby, you feel me? Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. that's pretty much it, man. I just need wiring, vacuum lines, throttle cable, and we're fucking Gucci, bro. So I can't wait. So, yeah, that's pretty legit, man. We're almost there. I uh, can't wait to drive this thing. Uh, it's going to be a freaking blast to drive. But anyway, update on everything else. 240. 240. Uh, I fucking love this car. I was going to sell it. That's why I put, So I pulled the engine, right? Engine's out. I was going to sell it. And, uh, man, I just couldn't do it. I'm about to clean this thing up for real, for real. Like, really, really do this one over time i guess i don't know i'm not really pressed on time to get that thing done but anyway i pulled the sr that was out of that and sat it into the corolla i just feel like it's a better it's better suited right it's a four-cylinder turbo and a small car i feel like that'll go way better than the jay-z because the jay-z was in here and don't get me wrong it was fun it was hella power the whole nine yards but it just didn't make sense like i wasn't happy with the fabrication work that was done I wasn't happy with how my intercooler was sitting outside to where you could see it. It was just like, and there's just not enough room in this engine bay for a fucking straight six. So then here's the Jay-Z. So I was going to sell the Jay-Z and then I just couldn't do that either. So Jay-Z going into 240. I can't wait. I bought mount. I bought all this shit so far. Um, and I keep telling myself, oh, this is, I'm gonna make this a long process. I'm not gonna rush this build and blah, 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 blah. But, uh, I did, because knowing myself, I'll get a wild hair up my ass one day and just be like, oh, I'm selling everything. So I had to start making purchases, uh, for instance, like mounts, right? I bought mounts. I bought, um, what else I buy? Anyway, I bought some shit for the two, oh, the adapter harness to fit the, uh, or the little connector harness to go from my Corolla to the 240. So now I have a harness and mounts for the 1J in the 240. Therefore, 
I can't sell the shit now. Like in my head, I'm like, nope, I've already bought parts for it to go in this car. So however long it takes me is however long it takes me. Anyway, enough blabbering on. Uh, I just wanted to put this video out uh, just because, you know, I haven't put a video out in a while. But yeah, man, stay tuned. We're going to get this thing uh, going pretty soon here, hopefully. Cross my fingers. Like I said, vacuum lines, throttle cable. Just got to hook up my fuel lines. My fuel lines are here. That's nothing. And then, um, yeah, first start should be coming soon. Oh, one more thing I want to do. So I got this TV. The homie Zach hooked me up for Christmas about me a TV for the garage. I want to put it there, but the problem is my fucking bed's in the way. But before I put my bed back on, I wanted to redrill these uh, leaf springs, uh, leaf spring hangers. So stay tuned for that because I'm going to be doing that soon. That should be a simple, I ain't going to say simple, but because you know how shit goes. You think it's going to be easy and fucking fuck around and take hella long or some bullshit happens. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one. Peace. I saw it.